I'm gonna start off in a child's pose today. This is a quick yoga flow. To reground and reset your morning. To get started, focus on your breathing. Breathing in, slowly releasing. Like waves crashing on the back of your throat. And from here, we're gonna go to do some cat and cows. Lift your head up, tuck your head under, and just releasing any tension in your lower back. You can feel that stretch. And then we're gonna thread the needle, lift your right hand high, gaze follows, tuck it under, feel the stretch underneath your lower back. Lift your left arm up. Tuck it under, feel the stretch in your back. Oh, my back is so tight. Back to cat and cows. Then you're gonna lift your left leg out, your right arm out in front, turn it out to the side, hold it here for a moment to warm up your abs and your core. Just focusing again on your breath work and breathing in and letting out what doesn't serve you. Holding in to whatever doesn't serve you, does no good, and just manifests somewhere else in your body. You're going to lift your right leg out, your left arm out in front. You're going to hold it here to warm up your core on this side. And again, focusing on your breath work and balance. Yoga brings us to the present moment, focusing on the here and now and not what was or what could be in the future. When we eliminate those other areas and we focus on the present, we are simply helping ourselves stay relevant and stay present and appreciate the current time. We're gonna do a quick bear pose right now. And then from here, you're gonna go into a downward dog. Walk out your dog and feel the stretch in your back legs. Releasing, again, any negativity. We're gonna go to a side plank. Your left arm toward the sky, your right hand toward the ground, gaze follows. And you're just gonna feel it here in your right side body, really waking it up. Again, recenter your focus. Then from here, we're gonna go into a high plank and then we're gonna switch to the other side. And then you're gonna put your left hand down, your right hand toward the sky. Gaze follows toward your right hand and feel it in this side body. Stretch out as far as you can to feel the ultimate stretch and get the full stretch in on that side. And then we're gonna go back down to downward dog. And just walk your feet out. And then from here, I'm gonna take my right leg, lift it high, step it through, reverse crescent lunge, your left arm overhead, your right arm behind, gaze follows behind your right arm. And just hold it here for a moment. And then from here, I'm gonna clasp my hands behind my back, lift my head up, pyramid pose over my right straight leg. Again, being mindful of staying in the present moment. From here, I'm gonna put my left hand down, my right hand toward the sky, Reverse half moon. Again, focusing on your breath work. And then I'm gonna cross my left leg over my right knee and I'm gonna twist to the right temple dancer. You're gonna feel this stretch in your inner left thigh and it is gonna feel amazing. And then you're gonna grab your left foot, stick it out in front, Padigustasana A, 
to B and just hold it here and feel the balance. Your right leg's wiggling, it's gaining strength. And you're just feeling that stretch in the back of your left thigh and then back down into a standing split and then back to a downward dog. You can do a vinyasa if you want. And then left leg sticks up, step it through, reverse revolve, right arm overhead, left hand behind. Feel the stretch or the twist in your back. Hold it here. And then from here, we're gonna clasp our hands behind our back, lift up to get the full stretch, lean over a straight left leg. Each move you do, regardless of whether you are conscious of it or not, will help you focus on the present moment. And I think that's the cool thing about yoga. It takes your focus off of the negativity or any exercise in general, and it helps you focus on what your body is feeling in this moment. And I think that's really intentionally perfect in regards to listening if you have any painful areas or any stored trauma. We're doing the temple dancer on the other side and I'm gonna lift my right foot out in front, right foot out to the right. And any stored trauma in the body will be noticeable. And when you get through like a lot of these poses or you try a lot of them because your body holds in what you have not released or not yet released. And to truly release that, you might have to process or go through the vulnerabilities again. So I'm back to a high plank right here, just holding it here for a moment. Focusing on your breathing and releasing again what doesn't serve you. And then from here, I'm gonna go onto my knees and I'm gonna go into a frog pose. So spread your legs out, lean your legs over only as far as your body allows you to, and just be one with what your body is calling you as far as leaning out, leaning forward, or getting further into the pose. For me, my hips store a lot of tension if I'm sitting all day, so I'm sure yours do as well. So this pose helps out a lot with releasing that. Um, there's a lot of other hip openers or hip poses you can do to really get in your hips where trauma can be stored. And I would say, you know, half pigeon is one of them. And another one is deer pose and butterfly. But just really getting in and taking the time to ease into those poses because they're not going to release easily. Now, another pose I have that I'm gonna go to, you're gonna lift your right arm out, lean over. It's called broken wing. And you're just gonna feel, sometimes you can feel your lower back crack. You're gonna feel the stretch. Your left leg is like a kickstand. And then you're gonna do it on the other side. And you could raise or lower the height of how high that arm is. And then you, you move to the side and you do it on the other side. Yeah, this is a great way. If you have tension in your lower back, my back just cracked. It's a great way to release tension or to help with your shoulder blade if you've used your shoulders a lot in the practice. Now, I'm not doing it for the full amount of time, but you can definitely do it to get the full effect from it. So I'm just going to go into butterfly right here and lean forward. Um, this is going to conclude my quick yoga flow for this Saturday morning. Um, if you want to join me, I'm on social media sites as well as YouTube. Um, so feel free to find me and thanks for watching. And remember to be kind to your body and listen to what it's telling you. Namaste.